best choice. Several years ago, we did an in vitro study. We wanted to compare the strength of adhesion between veneering ceramic and zirconia and compare it between veneering ceramic and the metal. We made a metal blocks and ceramic blocks, and then we glued and we baked the ceramic, veneering ceramic cubes, as you can see it on the video. Then these cubes were put in a universal testing machine, and the machine was chipping them off from the surface of zirconia or the metal. And we were calculating what forces needed to do that. And the outcome has shown that bond of veneering ceramic to metal is at least twice stronger than the bond of ceramic to zirconia. Indeed, you have a lot of chipping of ceramics from zirconia because the bond is weak. What should we do? Of course, you need to have some other solutions. You need, we need to discuss other veneering materials or other options in order to increase the strength. You have two options here, actually three. You have Emax or lithium desilicate monolithic restorations, or you have monolithic zirconia restorations. Now let's look at those, how do they work and how should we apply them if we want to restore our implants and still we want to have biological uh, biocompatibility, but also 